Okay. Konnichiwa, mina san. O genki desu ka? Hi guys, I'm Lisa. Welcome to my channel. And if you're new here, hajime mashite, Lisa desu. Welcome to my channel where I teach you Japanese in the most easiest and the fastest way. In today's lesson, we will learn about te kudasai, which is used to make requests in Japanese. So this is a use of te form. I told you long back that I'm going to make a playlist on uses of te form because it has so many uses in Japanese and it's really important to know them. So for example, please make sushi for the guest, please be quiet, and please study. So in general, it is please do a verb. Okay? So. How to make requests in Japanese is a use of te form. Therefore, what are its uses, Sensei? So, therefore has so many multiple uses and it is really a crucial part of Japanese language. Few which I've mentioned below are a must for beginners, okay? For example, to make requests, which we are going to learn in today's lesson. Like, please do this or please do that. To make negative requests, like, please don't do this, please don't do that, and all that. To show continuous tense of verb, like I am eating an apple. I've not finished eating, I'm still eating an apple. Like to ask and give permissions, like may I do this or yes, you may do this. So, for all these, you need to know the therefore. Also, to prohibit something, like you cannot park here, or smoking is prohibited here, or sticking posters is prohibited here. So, to prohibit something, you need to know the type form. In today's lesson, we will cover the first one, which is to make a request. Okay? Okay, hajimemasho. Let's start. But before we start, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video if you enjoyed and understood something from this, and also share it with your friends who are trying to learn Japanese. Okay, let's start. I am assuming that you know the tab form in order to make requests. In case if you don't know the tab form, you can check out this video on my channel. If you know the tab form, this video is going to be really easy peasy for you. Here is a chart which gives you the tab form, the dictionary form, and its meaning in English. Okay. Now we will cover how to say please do a verb. What if, if you want to ask for a noun? Like, please give me water, right? So it, the format is noun o kudasai. Noun o kudasai. So just for requesting for things, that means noun, you have to simply add kudasai. So let's uh, look at examples. Mizu o kudasai. Please give me water. Or may I have water? Uh, please give me this. Kore o kudasai. Kore o kudasai. Okay. Focus of this lesson. The format goes here. The form of a verb plus kudasai means please do something. It is used to ask someone to do something for you. So let's look at this example. Baketsu ni mizu o irete kudasai. Baketsu ni mizu o irete kudasai. Baketsu is bucket. Mizu is water, and irete is to put. So the original dictionary form is iraru. In the te form, it becomes irete, and you just add kudasai. So it becomes a request. So please put water into the bucket. Okay? Let's look at a few more examples. Please watch this. Kore o mite kudasai. So the verb is miru to watch. In the te form, it becomes mite, and you add kudasai to make it into a request. Please watch this. A 3D movie. <laughs> Let's say, please teach English. Please teach English. So, eigo o oshiete kudasai. Eigo o oshiete kudasai. So, oshieru is to teach. The te form, it becomes oshiete. And then you add kudasai to make it into a request. Now here are a few more examples. Futa o akete kudasai. 
蓋を開けてください。Please open the cover. So, 蓋 is cover. 開ける is to open. If the third form, it becomes 開けて And you add ください。So, please open the cover. I say, please catch that fish. That one close to you. So, I have already uploaded a video on これ、それ、あれ、どれ which are demonstrative pronouns and I will soon upload on この、その、あの、and dono So, for now, just understand that その means that fish next to you or close to you, okay? So, この魚 that fish 捕まえてください So, 捕まえて is the third form of 捕まえる which means to catch So, to come out, to catch in the third form, to come out, and you add kudasai to make it into a request. I think this is easy, right? Okay, one more. Key o t s u k e t t e kudasai. Key o t s u k e t t e kudasai. Key o t s u k e t t e kudasai. Okay, so key o t s u k e t t e is actually a phrase which means to be careful or to pay attention. So, key o t s u k e t t e I just converted to get do into its tail form to get there and added kudasai to make it into a request. So, ki o to get the kudasai is a really polite request like please be careful or please pay attention. But pay attention to what? So, that is why this phrase is often preceded by the particle ni to mark an object. Please pay attention to something. Please pay attention to the cars, for example. Or it means to watch out for the cars when you are going across the road. So you just mark that object with ni and then put this phrase. So, kuruma ni ki o t s u k e r u Pay attention to the cars. Let's make it into a request. t u k e r u in the third form, I make it t u k e t e and add kudasai. So the entire sentence becomes kuruma ni ki o t s u k e r u kudasai. Kuruma ni ki o t s u k e r u kudasai. Please pay attention to the cars. Or please watch out for the cars. Isn't it great? So I hope you are getting it. So did you understand? Okay, if you did, here is a short quiz. I will ask you four questions and I will give you a bit of time to think over it. If you feel these four questions were not given sufficient time, you can pause your video, give yourself a bit of time, and then appear for the answer, okay? Let's start! Question number one. Please put or please wear gloves. To put on or to wear is t s u k e r u t s u k e r u Okay. Here is the answer. Hebukuru o t s u k e t t e kudasai. Gloves in Japanese is Hebukuru. Or you can say please put on the gloves as Hebukuru o t s u k e t t e kudasai. Tebukuro o t s u k e t t e kudasai. So, tebukuro is gloves, t u k e r u is to wear, and the tail form, t u k e t t e and I add kudasai. Easy peasy, right? Okay, question number two. Please open the door. Please open the door. Door in Japanese is dao. Okay. Please open the door in Japanese is doa o akete kudasai. ドアを開けてください。door in Japanese is a doa. It is adapted from a foreign word door, so we write it in katakana. So, ドアを開けてください。Understood? 開ける to open become at 開けて in the third form and I just add ください。Question number three. Please hold the hose. Please hold the hose. Hose in Japanese is hosu. It is also adapted from an English word, so we write it also in katakana. Okay. Oh, sorry, sorry. You, you saw the <laughs> fourth answer, right? Okay. So please hold the hose in Japanese is hosu o motte kudasai. Hosu o motte kudasai. Please hold the hose. You can even say please hold the present. So, present is Presento. Presento o m o t t e kudasai. Please hold the present. 
Okay, question number four. Please put sugar and milk in the coffee. It's a bit longer. I have just added two substances, sugar and milk. So, and in Japanese is to. To. To join these two substances with to particle. Okay? Here you go. Coffee ni sato to milk wo irette kudasai. Coffee ni sato to milk wo irette kudasai. Coffee is coffee. Sato is sugar. And milk is milk. Milk is also、uh, adapted from the word milk.、Uh, traditionally, we do not say milk, we say kyugu. And ireru is to put in, in the tab form, irete, and I just add kudasai. So this was the main format. Okay? Yoki de kimashita! Well done! Mina san, if you enjoyed this lesson, please do not forget to check out my tab form because if you have not seen this tab form, this video might seem a little fizzy to you. And Please do not forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, share with your friends, comment below, and do check out the t e l f o r m and other videos. Okay? Bye bye! I'll see you in the next lesson! Mata ne!